Hey guys, this is MG with, with another tutorial about setting up bank and credit card accounts in QuickBooks Desktop. So far, we have a basic understanding of chart of accounts and to manage payments received and paid, you need to add your bank accounts so that you can manage and categorize your finances quite conveniently. So to add bank and credit card accounts, go to the chart of accounts and click on account button and select new. And since we are adding a bank account, just select like bank option here and click on continue. It really depends on you whether what you want to name it. But what I prefer is to add your bank name abbreviation first and then write the type of bank account, whether it's checking or saving. And then add a couple of last digits of your bank account. In this way, it will be quite convenient to distinguish if you have many bank accounts and the doubts of adding transactions to a wrong bank account will also decrease. Well, the rest of the fields are optional and you can click on the save and close button to create your bank account right away. But it's better to write the name of your bank and type of your bank account in the description. And if you want, you can add your bank account and routing numbers too. And for the sake of example, I'm putting some random numbers. And for the text line mapping, if you don't know what to select, just leave it as it is. And your accountant or tax professional will help you with that. Moreover, another option for assigning account numbers show up here if you have activated that feature in your QuickBooks. And if you haven't, just click Preferences under Edit Menu and in the Accounting section, check this checkbox under Company Preferences tab. And here you can assign an account number to this account. And the sequence of assigning account numbers in QuickBooks has been provided in the description. And you can add the opening balance of this bank account by clicking on this option. Just add your amount and select a date. And you can set a reminder for ordering checks by putting your limit here. Whenever you will hit that limit, QuickBooks will remind you that you are running out of your checks. And you can also select this option for printing your checks. And instead of clicking on save and close button, I'm going to click on save and new button as I also want to create a credit card account. Here it's letting you know that the added date is more than 90 days old. It's just a message that you will receive every time when you add a transaction older than 90 days. Anyhow, just click on yes to let the system know that you know that. Now your bank account has been created and to create a credit card account, just change the account type from bank to credit card and then fill the fields. And then click on save and close button if you don't want to set up more accounts. Here it's just asking if you want to attach your bank account to your online banking. And if you want, just click on yes and it will start the process. Otherwise, just click on no. And here, your bank and credit card accounts have been created. Moreover, you can see that the QuickBooks has also shown an equal amount of balance on equity, which means that it's a liability of business towards its owners. It's because that the amount you added to your bank account is your investment into your own business. And it's happening because of the accounting concept named separate entity, which means that the business activities should be recorded separately from the personal affairs of the owners. So in a way, equity tells that how much a business owes to its owners. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.